presentation he's got to do for his speech class. But it's probably pretty applicable to psychology anyway with the whole pit bull thing. So. Today's media has painted a horror picture about Shane on the set and how and have they made pit bull type breeds as opposed to childhood. Pit bull type breeds were once considered American sweetheart breeds, but due to the overwhelming negative media coverage, they are mostly regarded as the canine that is most likely to kill a human being. This breed is not the monster that is portrayed as. It is actually a wonderful family dog that has a temperament rating of 86.4, and as you can see to the American temperament test size, it's higher than most other dogs. You got Tally, Dalmatian, Golden Retrievers. Those are your average dogs. And as you can see, Pit Bull is tolerated a lot more with human beings than your family dogs there. What's that mean? To better understand the breed, you have to look into the history of the breed. A lot of negative media comes with this breed. The ASPCA has been informed by numerous animal control officers across the country that media outlets have no interest in reporting canine attacks on the news unless it involves a pit bull attack. This is what the media shows and this is what we believe. It is hard to properly inform you about this breed without touching the subject of the current state and the public side. Could the media actually be targeting these pit bull type breeds? and perhaps even dispensing inaccurate, biased information about the canine attack they report. The word pit bull is not an official breed. Okay? It is a terminology which includes specific breeds. Pit bulls descended from ancient canines that were used in Rome as a blood sport for humans as an entertainment. They were also used today, still today, as some illegal fighting activities. But most likely, as you can see here, pit bulls were also using good. We got Sergeant Sunday here. He was the most decorated canine in the World War One. He was a veteran. Also, in World War One, they used uh, pit bulls as their mascot. Jack Brothers was the mascot for it. Pit bull was the American dog back in the day, and now it's changed. Now it is legal to fight these dogs, but what they are bred for is their athletic ability. They are high drive to please their master. And as you see, when I say they were the American dog, this is Lifetime magazine. They're on the front cover of Lifetime magazine. Next slide. This is me. Uh, National Geographic Channel Dog Whisperer reminds us that humans create these breeds to exhibit certain skills. As responsible owners, we need to be aware of the specific needs each dog has. Pit bulls require daily vigorous exercises as well as clear constants, rules, and balance. Pulling the activities, uh, running with your dog, swimming, all, all of these things are great ways and exercises to challenge your pit bull and help them release some energy, as well as keeping them strong and healthy. Pit bulls need a strong and steady pack leader. Pit bulls are a strong and dominant type of three. If there is no leader in the household, then pit bull would take on that role and become that leader in the household. And then you'd be wondering why you have an uncontrollable dog. Pit bulls need to socialize from a young age, as well as with kids, other dogs, you know, humans. So that way, when they're when they're older, they're better around them. Things. Caesar always notes in this book Caesar's way why he has a high success rate with pit bulls that has been used for fights. It's because he's re rehabilitating these dogs because their previous owner. So mean to them, so cruel to them, the fighter that the dog sees he has a new family now. He doesn't have to bring that background with him. So that makes the rehabilitation process a lot easier for the dog this way. The bullets that have outlived their use to dog fighting are discarded as trash. Many are brought to shelter knives. Many are brought to shelters to euthanize and they're also killed. Many cities have established breed laws that ban pit bulls, making it a criminal offense to own that breed in that area. This breed specific law leaves many pit bulls in shelters, and because of the racism that this pit bull is currently facing, many of these pit bulls are just euthanized as soon as they step in the shelters. They're euthanized. The pit bull has a vibrant history, especially in the United States. They were initially bred for fighting, and many of his traits reflect this. 
However, this breed was not to be aggressive towards humans. Because the handlers needed to be safe around their fighting pit bulls. Throughout history, throughout history, and even today, pit bulls are the most abused canines, but they still offer us unconditional love and trust. Pit bulls are a wonderful addition to the family, but require a responsible owner that can offer the stability it requires in order to flourish. Because pit bulls friendly nature toward humans, they generally make horrible guard dogs. So do not pick them for this purpose. Hopefully the future of this breed is not determined on the current racism it faces and instead is given a second chance that it has continuously given us.